talk with you about seven steps that you can take to manifest your dream home. Now, I know that sounds like a completely clickbait title, um, and you might think, what on earth is manifesting? Um, I am not a woo person, and what I would say manifesting is, is to make something happen. So this is how I recommend you go about starting to get your dream home. And if you are in a more woo uh, person than manifesting, this is actually some really good manifestation techniques. And to translate that into a less woo version of how, to, how it works, these are techniques that will help you get clear on what it is that you want, that will help you focus your efforts in the right place and that in its turn is going to help you to get the end result and if you are particularly woo then you know it's going to help you to call up this dream home from the universe so first step declutter so i am thinking you are living in your home and this home that you want this is the kind of person that I tend to work with, is people who have a home already and they want to recreate that home into a better home. So they want more space, they want it to feel more beautiful, more comfortable. And the very, very first step that I recommend you take is to declutter. And I know this seems like a little bit strange, um, maybe, but honestly, it's the best thing to do because it, it gives you a bit of a clean slate. It makes you a bit more space immediately and sometimes um, it can actually make you realize that just getting rid of a bit of stuff actually creates the space that you needed that extra space that you wanted was already there it was just filled up with a bit of stuff so this is a really good first start that can actually save you masses of money and if you watch my video from last week about how to make money from your home and decluttering is one of the suggestions that I um, gave then because you can sell some of the stuff that you're getting rid of and make money and that money you can use to help pay for progress in making your home better whether that's to buy some better paint or whatever it is that, you know you can use that or whether it's to pay for help to to make things happen that's another thing that you can do so declutter that's very very first step the second and third step are part of getting a clear vision in place now getting a vision is really crucial because this is where you get really clear on all the things that you do want from your home and all the things that you don't want from your home and having that vision in place is what is going to help you to be know what it is your goal you know if it's if you have a clear goal a clear outcome that you're wanting to achieve then you are much more able to actually achieve it so creating that vision for your home is essential as one of the first steps and if you want my help i have a free checklist that is in the the links in the description box so you can get hold of that for free and um, to help you to create that vision the um i'm just looking down at my notes here the fourth thing is to really decide what the price is what's the value to you of getting this dream home set your budget um what what would it be worth to you and um, how much money in monetary terms would it be worth your the increased value to your life of these changes and i think that's really important to set out and then and then you can start to go into looking at you know what are your finances and what do you need to do in order to um pay for it and you can also look at alternative um options that you have that and see how much those different options cost but finances is a big thing and if you if you're interested in manifestation and at all then a lot of people talk about manifesting money um, and so i won't go into that but that's something that you can really look into and focus on and it really it really comes down to being clear about how much you need and then figuring out how you're going to get there and then taking action the fifth thing is to create a vision board and there are lots of different ways to do this um, you can use canva which i think is a really good option you can also use things like pinterest which you can create a pin board and house where you can create an ideas um, book i think it's called all very similar 
But what I really think is very helpful to do is to create a kind of a digital uh, mood board where you basically stick stick or use Canva to place all the images of what you want this um, dream home of yours to look like and then save that as your screensaver on your computer or on your phone and that will serve as a visual reminder to just help you stay focused keep that big picture end goal in mind and stay the course and then the sixth step is to write a list of all your next steps um, so you know what are, what are you going to do next to get there is it are you going to arrange a call with a mortgage advisor to help you figure out the finances are you going to arrange um, a something like a home design foundation package with somebody like me where you can get sketch designs and you can use those sketch designs to figure out you know how much it's going to cost to get what you want to happen and, and all the practicalities of that um, are you going to speak to some builders are you going to speak to structural engineers are you going to contact the planning department and find out um, you know what's possible in your area for your property lots of different options but think you know what are the next you know two three four five maybe steps you are going to take and take that first step and the last thing the seventh step is to set reminders on your phone and um, congratulate yourself on your beautiful home I know this sounds like kind of loony and I'm just actually looking to see if there are any comments I don't see any comments um, but this is this seems like maybe a little bit loony but actually having those reminders set on your phone so you just set an alarm on your phone that goes off and it reminds you you know oh, congratulations for your beautiful new home or something along those lines whatever it is maybe something more specific what it is you're trying to achieve maybe you're looking to get a huge open plan kitchen or um, a gorgeous space that connects with the garden whatever it is that you're trying to achieve with your home have that reminder set on your phone have that go off several times a week and every time it goes off it's just going to remind you yeah this is what I am trying to achieve it keeps you focused on your on your project and it means that you're much more likely to make it happen and um, so this has been really, really quick because I, I'm a bit late today. I was planning to do these earlier and I've got to go and get my COVID, uh, coronavirus vaccine. So I've been a little bit frightened about that all day and I've just had a really amazing session with um, the rock chick um, hypnotherapist or the metal chick hypnotherapist and she is amazing and really i'm feeling a lot less anxious now about going for my vaccine but that has kept me a little bit stalled today and um, so i'm going to go now but let me know in the comments if you have tried to manifest the, anything if you um are excited to manifest your dream home and if you're going to try any of these steps and I will speak to you all again next Friday. Bye for now.